This is a training video about the Phonak Roger Multimedia Hub, brought to you by Accessible Hearing Solutions, a business owned and operated by a network of audiologists to provide improved accessibility for people who are hard of hearing in your community. We specialize in improving accessibility for counter service, meeting rooms, classrooms, conferences, and large venue settings for businesses and organizations. For more information, check out our website at www.accessyourhearing.com. While watching this YouTube video, please press CC down below for closed captions for more support. So let's get started. The Multimedia Hub is used to connect the Roger touchscreen microphone to other audio sources used in a meeting room or classroom, such as audio from a computer when watching a video, an MP3 player, or an interactive whiteboard. It can be used with a Soundfield system to amplify the audio for everyone, or can be used by an individual student. The Roger Multimedia Hub will transmit the audio sounds simultaneously with the sound from the Roger touchscreen mic. This is helpful because both the teacher and the audio source can be heard at the same time. To switch on, press the on-off button on the side of the Roger Multimedia Hub for three seconds. The green indicator lights will flash until fully booted. To connect, place the Roger touchscreen mic within 4 inches or 10 centimeters of the Multimedia Hub and touch the connect button. To check if you're connected, you can always press the list devices button on the second page. If you wanted to just connect your Roger Focus, MyLink, or Hearing Aid directly to the Multimedia Hub, just press the connect button on the front within 4 inches or 10 centimeters next to the device. Next, plug the micro USB into the Multimedia Hub. The USB, on the other end, then connects to your audio source. Here, you can see it being attached to a computer laptop. Next, plug the Multimedia Hub into the audio out jack of the tablet or other audio source. Here, it's being done on a laptop. Remember, if the Multimedia Hub is connected to a Roger touchscreen mic, the mic needs to be in lanyard mode for it to work. Do not set it down on a table or it will switch to small group mode and the Multimedia Hub won't work. Finally, when charging either with a USB power cord or in the Roger charging rack, the indicator lights will flash green and when fully charged will shine solid green. So that's how you set up a Phonak Roger Multimedia Hub. Check out our other training videos or our website at www.accessyourhearing.com for more support. Thanks for watching.